In this video, we'll be taking a look at a few chart analyses to get you prepared for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in learning trade first like a professional, check out our complete first trading course on Udemy. I have the link attached in the description below. And lastly, if you're not part of our Discord community yet, it's totally free. Also, use the link in the description below to you know, um, join our Discord community. It's free. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a go chart on a daily time frame. And as we discussed last week, we talked about the possibility of gold reversing from this area of value, which was a significant support level. And uh, the open of last week, Monday, we had a gap, right? So I know this did really give us, uh, give so many traders the opportunity to get into this trade, which was a very decent trade. Um, I got in trade early on Friday last two weeks. So um, this was actually a good trade for me. But for other traders who couldn't, uh, who weren't in on the trade since the market opened with a gap we uh couldn't you know get those entries around these lows right so i'm going to go down to the um, lower time frame like two hours time frame to spot out new opportunities for the coming week right as you all know on friday we had this massive pump on gold so gold went bonkers on friday so that's why we had this uh, massive uh, bullish move i think it's as a result of fears of increasing inflation in the united states that's what led to this massive move to the upside coupled with the war in israel between israel and um, palestine so i'm not going to go much to fundamentals right now i'm going to stick with technicals because that tells us how to get into the trades right so going on to the two hours time frame for example i am currently watching out for this resistance level so um, as you can see there's a good resistance level over here I'm watching that for because clearly it seems we just broke out from this channel so we're um, having a price decline within this channel but right now since we've broken out from this channel i think the next logical price levels um, is around this um, area of resistance so this is the area we are going to be watching out for right now to you know decide if we're going to go short or go long so right now i'm going to just wait because i don't think we're going to see any uh, good pullback or good consolidation on this price level so I'm going to simply wait for price to slowly creep into this um, resistance level, give us a confirmation of a reversal, then I'm going to go short, aiming for quick profits, maybe 200 pips or so, because I believe the next time we make a move into this area of value, we are likely going to break. So that's if we get a reversal um, right now. So if we get a reversal right now, the moment we get into this um, um, resistance level, I'm going to go short for 200 pips and... I'm going to get out of that trade and watch out to see what price does. So if I get in here, maybe at the sign of a bearish engulfing candle, other, you know, um, um, candlestick reversal patterns or the shift in market structure, right? I am going to go short. Okay. I say following the confirmation from a bearish reversal. So I'm going to go short. My stop loss is going to be above the resistance level. Take profit is going to be around 200 pips low, maybe, or around this price level. So this will be approximately, give me a minute. So this will be approximately, yeah, maybe 200, 300 pips. And I'm going to watch out to see what price does before I get into another trade. So that's if we get a confirmation of a reversal, right? So alternatively, I'm going to wait to see if we, all we get is a consolidation. Maybe we get to this level. We're probably going to see a consolidation, small pullbacks, consolidation, and then a bullish breakout. So if we do get a bullish breakout from the resistance level, then I'm going to go long. My stop loss is going to be below the consolidation and little breakout. And my first take profit target is going to be around these highs, right? So this is my outlook for gold. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is the gap I was talking about. So uh, market opened on Monday with a gap. So there was no time for traders to get in. But I know so many traders got in around these slight consolidations over here. But that's by the wayside. So right now, we're going to be focusing on what price does this week, right? So like I said earlier, I'm going to wait for price to get into this area of value. Bearish case scenario is waiting for a reversal shift in market structure or a, you know, a bearish reversal candlestick. Then I'm going to go short. So I'm going to go short aiming for these price levels. Stop loss is going to be above the um, resistance level while I wait to see what price does next. Alternatively, if we don't get that reversal or bearish confirmation, I'm going to wait for price to consolidate around these price levels and then give us that bullish breakout. So either of these um, scenarios is going to play out and I'm either going to go long or go short on gold. 
right so that's it briefly for gold moving on we'll be talking about gbp usd so this is gbp usd chart and as discussed last week excuse me i'm gonna get rid of this as discussed last week we anticipated a reversal from this area of value because uh, this player has acted as a support before now acting as a confirmed resistance right so we had a massive rejection so this is the four hours chart on gbp usd meanwhile over here we have a support level right so price being rejected from these price levels multiple times so right now on two hours time frame so i'm just going to quickly go down to the two hours time frame i am simply going to wait for a consolidation around this area of value which is currently a support level and then a bearish break out of the downside so this is going to be my confirmation to go short i'm going to enter at the break of this uh, resistance level stop loss is going to be above the consolidation at least for the breakout and my take profit target is going to be within this area of value right as i've showed you earlier so this is how i'm going to trade gbusd because clearly this two hours time frame shows us a bearish trend right you can see all the way from the top here We've had a series of lower highs and lower lows, which confirms a bearish trend. Okay, so the only reason why I wouldn't be going short is if we don't get a bearish breakout to put in a lower low, right? So if, for example, let's say, for example, we see price, just a little bit of education for you guys. So if we get a bounce off of these price levels, maybe put in a, a higher high, then come down like this, go, then this would probably be a change in the market structure on the two hours time frame so you can see over here we have lower highs and lower lows so if something like this happens then we would have seen this is a higher high right now so you can see we have a, a high a so we have a low a lower low we have this high here lower than this high but over here this high has taken out this high so right now we've made a higher high right so there's a good chance we bounce off of this area of value which would give us a higher lows so it's going to be a high a higher high a low a higher low so this could be a potential change in trend then we we'll start looking for opportunities to go long meanwhile before this happens there's a good chance we put in a lower low this which is the reason why we are going to be waiting for a consolidation over here and a bearish breakout as our confirmation to go short aiming for this price level so if we do get a lower low it means the bearish trend is still intact on the two hours time frame so right now i wouldn't be going long on gbusd until i have had a confirmed change in market structure which is what i just explained or alternatively until we get into this area of value then i'm going to look forward to you know finding buys or finding positions to go long so that's it briefly for gbusd next we're going to be talking about nasdaq so nasdaq real quick um like i discussed last week this seems to be moving within a bullish uh, flag right so we had this excuse me so we had this massive bullish move and we had this massive consolidation so this looks like a bullish flag and it's going to be confirmed if we get a bullish breakout right so a bullish breakout is going to confirm the bullish flag which will send price higher but right now we seem to be rejected by this upper trend line which is what we anticipated last week okay so if you followed us last week you would have been able to take advantage of these trades so going down to the lower time frame because this is a daily time frame so i'm going to check out the two hours time frame to see if we can spot out immediate trade opportunities for this coming week excuse me so here we go i'm going to zoom in and see what we have over here so this is the two hours time frame on nasdaq so you can see the moment we tapped into this trend line we had a very good reversal which took out these higher lows right so you could equally draw something like this and call this a rising wedge so this could be a rising wedge with a bearish breakout which usually signifies the end of a bullish run which would be this bullish run we have over here so from here up to this price there was the bullish run that ended when we had a bearish breakout from this rising wedge right so a little bit of education for you over there mind you if you're interested in learning trade forest like professional check out our complete forest training course on udemy you're going to learn a lot so every technique i use in analyzing this weekly analysis i use in taking my personal trade is what you're going to be learning within the complete forex trading course and it comes with over 200 videos or so and over 40 free pdf lessons that you could download and you know learn in time so going back to our charts so excuse me uh, going back to our charts we had a rising wedge 
after being rejected uh, by this trend line and we had a good breakout so bearish breakout consolidation and move to the downside so right now i'm going to wait for price to come into this area of value consolidate a little and then give us a bearish breakout to go short so my entry is going to be at a breakout first target or main target is going to be around these lows stop loss is going to be above the consolidation that leads to the breakout so this is how i'm going to trade nasdaq right so the reason why i wouldn't be jumping into a trade right now maybe probably waiting for a small consolidation over here and then jumping into a trade when we get a bearish breakout is because the distance from current price levels to this area of value is minute so i don't see any reason why i want to take any risk on a trade that's already close to an area of value so all i do is simply wait for price to get into this area of value if we get there wait for a good consolidation so meanwhile this consolidation is going to be um on the one one uh one hour time frame right i'm going to be watching out for this consolidation on the one hour time frame the bearish breakout breaking below these lows and this area of value that will be my confirmation to go short stop loss is going to be above the consolidation listed breakout my take profit is going to be around these lows so this is how i'm going to trade nasdaq so the only way i'm going to be buying nasdaq or going long on nasdaq is if we you know um get into this area of value get a very good reverser right with a confirmed higher high and higher low or a confirmed reverser pattern like a bullish and gothic candle and so on that's when i'm going to take a risk to going long remember trading is all about probabilities and if i get multiple confirmations that signals a potential reverser then i'm going to go long and that signal comprises of price making a higher high and higher low after bouncing off this low or price giving me a solid reversal candlestick pattern like a bullish and gothic candle so that's the reason why i'll be going long over here stop loss is going to be below the uh below the gothic candle or below the lows of the uh candle that bounced off of this area of value the target is going to be around this trend line or around these highs right so last week we talked about the possibility of price having a retest and a reversal so we had this and i hope so many traders took advantage of this price action right so our first target was around these highs which was smashed right so again i'm going to be waiting for the same principle to go long right so the apex um price levels to go long will be when we break out from this trend line above so remember it's 50 50 markets can be unpredictable sometimes so what we do is react to what the market gives us that's why i have with a bearish case scenario and a bullish case scenario so once again bearish case scenario is waiting for price to get into this area of value consolidate a little and then give us a bearish breakout we go short aiming for this lows stop loss above the consolidation, the consolidation that leads to the breakout excuse me why for a you know um long position so what i explained just now is for a short position so why for a long position we wait for price to get into this area of value reverse through a bullish and gothic candle or change the market structure and then we go long stop loss is going to be underneath the candlesticks or underneath zero value target is going to be around here so these are my bearish and bullish case scenario for nasdaq so that has it briefly for nasdaq moving on we're going to be talking about aero usd real quick so this is something we also discussed last week um expecting a reversal from this area value and this channel right so uh area seems to be moving within this bearish channel like clockwork you can see each time we touch the top of the channel over here bam got rejected over here now got rejected so if you followed our analysis last week you should have you know got into this trade and made some decent profit i did make some profit from this trade yeah i did i didn't make some bucks so right now i'm going to be watching i'm going to go down to the two hours time frame so i can clearly show you what i'm watching that for to go short right uh, meanwhile i'm usually trade gold nasdaq and crude oil yeah, so i really do not trade currency pairs that much but when i get a good chart on you know you know error usd gb usd as case maybe i take those trades so this chart looks clean though the best entry would have been around these highs or at the break of this trend line but right now i'm going to watch out for a good consolidation right a good consolidation and a bearish breakout to go short so this is going to be an enticing price action 
that's going to be good enough for me to get into this trade right so my stop loss is going to be above the consolidation at least at the breakout entry is going to be at the breakout and take profit is going to be first probably around its lows which would be a very small take profit but generally i'm going to be targeting the bottom of this channel so i'm just going to take a range for example so let's say this happens like this hypothetically so the bottom of the channel is going to be around 150 pips so i could take out my profit at 100 pips because you have no idea if price is going to touch the bottom of the channel or not right so i take out my profit at 100 pips or 120 pips as the case may be so this is going to be the only reason why i go short on aero usd so because this consolidation and a bearish breakout gives us a confirmation of a bearish continuation right so we had a massive bearish decline so this consolidation and a bearish breakout signifies that there's going to be a continuation of this bearish move so the consolidation may be a symmetrical triangle it could be a bearish flag it could be an um, ascending triangle a descending triangle as the case may be provided after the consolidation we have a bearish breakout so for trades like this for consolidations like this and breakout you do not necessarily need to wait for a retest because this consolidation itself is already a confirmation that price is going to go lower if we do get a bearish breakout so for breakouts after consolidation like this they do not need retests right so um that's it briefly for area usd uh, i'm only going to consider going long if we get into the bottom of this channel then i'm going to look for opportunities to go long if those opportunities present themselves well i believe before then it will be next week and we're going to review the chart once more so lastly we'll be talking about crude oil so crude oil we had a massive decline to the downside so excuse me we had a massive decline to the downside we had this consolidation and we had a massive you know breakout to the upside so right now i'm going to be watching out to see so this is two hours time for remind you so i'm going to be watching out for this area of value over here so to see what price does before taking advantage of this trade so price is either going to get rejected around this price level going down or we are going to consolidate around this price level and then get a bullish breakout so either way this is what i'm going to be watching out for to go either long or short so like i explained earlier on other pairs i'm going to wait for price to get into this area of value give us a bearish reversal candlestick or a bearish engulfing excuse me i'm going to watch out for price creating a solid bearish engulfing candlestick or a bearish reversal pattern with price creating lower highs and lower lows which will be my confirmation to go short so i'm going to be watching out for these on the one hour time frame right so when i get my entry stop loss is going to be above the candlesticks uh that led to the reversal and my take profit target is going to be around its lows at first then i can you know hold some positions till we get to these lows so this is my bearish case scenario for crude oil so remember trading is 50 50 you never know what's going to happen that's why you need to anticipate this movement and get ready to get to those positions when your strategy plays out right so for a long position i'm going to wait for price to get into this price level consolidate a little and then give us a bullish breakout so when i get this bullish breakout then i'm going to go long aiming for these highs right i'm going to aim for these highs stop loss is going to be underneath the consolidation that leads to the breakout so this is it briefly for this week's analysis if you love the content please like subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below sorry i i'm not able to you know check out so many currency pairs but next week i promise i will do as much as i can as requested by the community on discord if you're not part of our free discord community use the link in the description below to join us it's totally free invite your friends invite your families there's a lot to learn and you're gonna love being you know a part of the family or a part of the community and if you're interested in learning trade forest like a professional we actually teach you how to trade forest from scratch check out our complete forest trading course like i said earlier i have the link also attached in the description below that's it from me, guys. See you next week.